I'd like to introduce, like I said a moment ago, Sherry Thomas from the Boys and Girls Club. She's our program director. Uh, I serve on the advisory board. Uh, she's also been at Pine Ridge for 20 years, but uh, more importantly to me, she works for the Boys and Girls Club. Come on up, Sherry. been uh, with the Boys and Girls Club. This is my 17th year. He did get uh, the school year right, correct. This is my 20th year for the school, but it's 17 years for Boys and Girls Club here in Livingston. So I'd like to uh, give Boys and Girls Club a hand on this. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club is considered an after-school program. We do run a uh, summer program through the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, ours, our operation is from three to six, uh, the school bus. We got a, um, not a contract, but we got an agreement with our school district where they buses our kids to the club. And the parents, uh, they stay there in a safe environment until their parents come and pick them up. So we have been here for 17 years, going strong. And your contribution, all that y'all do, helped us make that possible. Like Mitch said, we do have a local board here that help us generate funds. We are a nonprofit organization. So we don't have something coming in all the time. And then we have uh, someone like Mitch that serve on our local board. We have a corporate board out of the Nacogdoches Lufkin area. But uh, we do have members here that uh, serve on our local board. And we're always looking for new people to serve on that board. So if anyone interested, we are taking names. So we thank y'all for that. Um, we, uh, like I say, we do run a after school program from three to six. Um, all our kids, uh, there have to be school year and they, uh, the ages is from six to 18. We do um, different type of program from character building to uh, tutorial, homework time. Uh, we, we try to fit it all in there, that little time that they're there. They still have fun. We have a, a large game room with pool tables and, and uh, different uh, games in there that the kids can come in and play. One of the things when kids get out of school, they're hungry. So we do also feed them a meal. It's not a snack. They get a full meal, a balanced meal at that before they uh, go home. So that's something that we do at the club. We're proud of it. Our, I'm proud of our local board that's uh, set up here to help us generate funds for that. And I'm proud of all that you do to help our program continue to run. This is not my first time here, so I know what y'all do, the Lions Club itself do for the club, not only from uh, Christmas trees that y'all donate our way to uh, the funds that y'all send also that way. And we thank y'all so much for that. And uh, I appreciate y'all letting me come today. Thank you. Sherry, you're also open in the summer. Right? Absolutely. And we serve more than one meal a day. Oh, yes. We serve breakfast and lunch during our summertime. And we're open from 8 to 5 during our summer. Hey, Sherry. Yes. I want to say that Sherry and I graduated from high school together. Her, last, her maiden name was Davis, so we sat next to other. No one yes. class. I want to tell you how proud I am of you. Oh, for thank you so much. Too. Great job. They said we were related in school. Yes. <laughs> July, the first part of August, and that's a fee for eight to five every day. That's an additional $75. So it's a total uh, cost of $150 to be a part of the uh, Boys and Girls Club for the entire year. Yes. 
And that was raised up not too long ago. It used to be yes. even less. Oh, yeah. a lot less. <laughs> no. I got a, I have a one announcement um, for our club. Date is Saturday, January 14, 2017. Uh, we have the Lions Club International Celebration where the event center, 700 Crockett Street in Beaumont, Texas. And they all are invited. And also send us information about whoever is, is um, interested. Uh, they have tables. And one table, they name it uh, Corporate Sponsor. And there's 2500 for a person. The second one, they call Entertainment Sponsor. It's 1500 for a people, one table. Corpor corporate table sponsor, $800 for eight people. And Lions table sponsor is 100, and there's no limit. So uh, if somebody's interested in, uh, in be in the 100 year celebration in Beaumont, and they like to sponsor a table, well, you got the information and um, if, if you want to go individually and be present at that day, you all are welcome. So it's going to be January 14, 2017. All right? All right. The, uh, the Livingston Swing Band will be the entertainment that night. All right. Well, uh, Livingston Swing Band is going to be the entertainer. So, uh, <laughs> Do what? I'm emceeing. All right. Um, okay, and um, of course, you already hear already a couple of times that we're not going to have a meeting, of course, next Wednesday, which is November 23rd, and also in December 7th. There's no meetings in those days. One prior to uh, Thanksgiving, and the other one prior to the uh, our banquet. So, uh, you know... Uh, is, is a part of the announcements today. Now we got inductions to do, Mr. Doug. Okay. Okay. Uh, our students, uh, can uh, you stand up and answer those yourselves and see, uh, see if we get the what, what, uh, what you doing? You want to take the mic? Come around here so they can, body can hear you. Tell us a quick thing about yourself. All of you come and tell what you're proud of, sir. Tell us, you know, where your rank is, what class you're in, what you want to do, you know. Hello, my name is Ansley Brister. I'm a junior at Livingston High School. I've been on varsity volleyball for two years. This year we made playoffs. Yeah. And I'm a middle blocker. I'm also a valedictorian of my class. And over the summer, I attended a summer course over human evolution at Harvard University. We don't mess around around here. Hi, guys. Up that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Nikario Gwynn. I am a senior at Livingston High School. I'm a varsity cheerleader for Livingston. This is my fourth year on varsity cheer. I plan to attend Sam Houston or SFA in major in computer information systems and hopefully be a cheerleader there. Wow. Ready to go. Thank you. I play varsity basketball. I played for three years. I plan on attending SFA or Sam Houston and getting my coaching degree and in teaching science, I think, so far. So that's me. Great. Yeah. My name is Grant Yanazo. I'm a senior at LHS. I'm a two year varsity basketball player. And I'm going to. Um, Join the police academy when I graduate. Hey. Oh, oh. Hey. 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 
you two that are All between right. Sam uh, Houston and... Well, thank you for visiting us today, and uh, come up to the front, please. Be careful. You got to make your mind up on which one and never think of the other one, because they are, <laughs> they are like this, right? They really are. I got it. I don't know where Benny went. Oh, Benny, had, his mom's going to be operating on right now. So he had to run. One, two, three, cheese. Got it. It's a good looking group. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Diane. Uh, it's all clear for you. Y'all don't know how proud I am of the Livingston Lands Club and the way that you stop to pay attention when we have a new potential new member for our club. Somebody that's going to come along, we hope, and help us with our projects, understand our concepts, and become a lifetime friend of each of us in this room. Um, today we have a really neat lady, um, Candy Minatria. Minatria, yes sir. Okay. <laughs> And uh, we're going to visit with her for a minute or two. I'm going to visit with her out loud for y'all to sort of hear where we go. Y'all know most of what I'm going to say. She doesn't yet. So we'll start off into this thing. And uh, I would like for you to know uh, that all of us really express our, express our pleasure at your thinking about joining this organization. Uh, you've been invited to join. You don't get to come up and walk in the door here and say, Hey, I want to be a lion. Let me be in. Let me in. I want in. You, know, you have to be invited. There is a screening process. The screening process, most of it took place yesterday. You passed with flying colors. The, uh, you are joining the world's largest and most active service organization. There's 1.3 plus million folks all the way around the world meeting in groups somewhat like this, speaking a number of different languages because the uh, ones in Afghanistan don't speak the same language we do. Uh, but we have a really big time with lionism around the world because each and every person coming into this organization joins for the purpose of trying to help other folks in some way. Um, the service history of this place goes back Boy, I'm going to get political. I'm not supposed to. Before ladies were allowed to vote, back in 1917, uh, there was a group of men that used to gather in and sit around the table, and all they'd do would be to talk about trying to sell their business to the other folks there at the table. Uh, Charlie, I know uh, they're making them automobiles, and, and, and y'all don't have one in your family, but I noticed that, that you had, had a new mayor at your place, and if you'd like to buy a surrey, we sell surreys down there at our place. If you want to come on down, I can get you a real special deal. I mean, that was the kind of conversation that went on. Well, one of the members was an individual who had been raised in the West. In fact, he was uh, his father was in the military when the Geronimo campaign, I'm going to drag you back to 1876 and 79, that part of time. This young man grew up with his father being one of the richest folks around because his dad got a government check. Nobody else did, but his daddy was a captain in the military, and he drew a salary every month. Most of the people he, were around, he was around him were Chiricahua Indians that, if they were lucky, got to sleep in a tent at night on the ground. But make a long story short, this man sitting in this club in 1917 uh, got to thinking, well, wait a minute, all these guys go home and sleep in their bed and they talk to each other, selling things back and forth. There's way, way too much talent in this room and the money and the ideas and the concepts to help the people who are still sleeping on the ground somewhere. I know they're still out there. So he started selling the idea of let's make this a service club rather than a business club. Let's find ways to come up to serve our fellow man. And this concept started taking place and catching on. And fortunately, we in Texas are real, real proud of our ideas on it because they held the first real convention up in Dallas and formed 
Lions International. From that start, we have grown to the point where we are now, as I said, with over a million people around the world all thinking this is a good <coughs> idea. To get it together, come up with a concept to possibly make some money, not hurt anybody in making the money, but make some money, pool the money together, and use it to help someone else. In fact, one of the things that this club does, we help to pay for a camp in Kerrville, Texas. And we've got our young people over here, and the trick is, this camp, these are wonderful, wonderful special children that are here with us. They're barred from going. They're mentally alert, and they're healthy. And they can't go to our camp. If you do not have a physical or a mental handicap, you're not allowed to go to the, to the Lions camp. There's a bunch of kids around that would love to go to camp, but they're barred from the camps that these kids could go to. The Lions thought it would be a good idea if the kids that had handicaps had a place to go in the summer, ride horses, play basketball, go swimming, be counseled one, literally one-on-one -on -one with somebody a little bit older than I am that was still a kid that could help them to get on the horse, or if they were blind, to lead them to the different places that they went. And we pride ourselves in that camp. This club provides a little bit more money than any other club on the, on the eastern side of Texas for that camp. And one of the things we really pride ourselves in, if you go from Carthage, Texas, down to Beaumont, Texas, this last summer, there were 41 children that were eligible to go to this camp. 29 of them were from Livingston, sponsored by this club. We're proud of what we do. Yes, we, are. we make the money, we try to help folks, and we do very well with it. Recently, there was a screening for the children's visual needs in the public schools here. Again, go ahead. Now, the reason I keep saying from Carthage to Beaumont, all the clubs from Beaumont up to Carthage are sort of caught and tied together in what they call a district. And, and in this district, in the month of October, just last month, there were 3,328 children that had a screening to find out in pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, and first grade if they had a visual problem that would impair their being a good student. Now, that's 3,328 in the whole spring. More than 1,000 of those children this club helped to provide the equipment and the manpower for more than 1,000 of these children. You are joining an active group. So in a little bit, when I ask you if you really want to be in, we'll think about it a little bit because <laughs> we've already got two lists passed around saying, are you ready to go to work? Um, anyway, okay, well, let's back up though. This club was organized back in 1941. Uh, unfortunately, this was in the spring, just before World War II, with the advent of World War II, a number of the members went into the military. The club nearly shut down, but they kept it going, kept it going, and it built back up over the last several decades to the wonderful group that you see here with about 135, 136 folks willing to help other folks in this community. Um, we have a variety of products to produce the uh, project to produce the funds. We have golf tournaments, uh, we have mop and broom sales, we have Christmas tree sales. You may have heard that mentioned about three times since you got here. Uh, fish fries. We have raffles. We have candy sales. We have all types of different ongoing projects where we try to not take too much money away from anybody, but get a little bit of money. An example being, you can go to any one of four stores in this county three weeks from today and buy a Christmas tree, and the fee for it will be from point A to point B. In that same price range, you can go to our lot, pay the same amount of money, get as good as not a better tree, and all the money stays here. It does not go to Benville, Arkansas, or somewhere else. It stays right here with us. So, that's sort of where we get in and do things and make things work. You will find some opportunities in this group for personal growth. There's a chance to hone your leadership skills and your communication and organizational skills. And the group you work with, I think you've developed 
a pretty good standby. In a little bit, you'll get to tell them some about that. Um, you can develop friendships that will last a lifetime. And you can contribute your ideas that will help the club and, 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 and make it even more valuable to Livingston, to this community. The officers and the members of the club are happy that you've chosen to help us continue the legacy of lionism by improving the lives of the less fortunate. We want to have you join us in making this area an even better place for people to live. Having an idea of what we do and how we do it and where things come from, uh, since you've expressed a desire to affiliate with this Lions Club with Lions International, I'm going to ask two questions, and I need an I do or an I will if you think it's a good idea. If you think it isn't, you may shake your head, and you'll still be our friend. But do you hereby accept membership in the Livingston Lions Club knowing that you're encouraged to participate in all the functions of the club? Yes, sir, I do. I do? Okay. To the best of your ability, will you abide by the Lions Code of Ethics, attend meetings regularly, and contribute your fair share to the programs of this club? To this district and Alliance International. Yes, sir. Okay, good deal. Well, congratulations. You are now officially a member of the Livingston Alliance Club. Yes. And your sponsor will now present you with your certificate of membership and with a lion emblem, which we'd like for you to wear from time to time, if you will, just so other folks know that you're a lion. It's sort of interesting to be at an airport and have one of those on and have somebody come up and say, you know, I'm a member of the Lions Club over there in Austin. I you know, things like that. It's sort of fun to have that, that happen to you from time to time. Um, for the sponsor, uh, I want to thank you for bringing us this new member. And will you now pledge to guide Candy into becoming a great member by introducing her to each of your fellow members? by working alongside of her with upcoming projects, and by answering any questions about being a member that may come up in the next few months. All right. Well, now, let's wait a minute. I, I, I've sort of been all over the case with these two folks, and y'all been sitting there wonderfully paying attention, and I really do appreciate it. Um, let me ask y'all to stand up, and we're going to do a little swearing in here. She said I do, or I will. Let's do a little swearing in here for a minute. Raise your right hand, and if you would, let's offer this pledge to our new member. It is indeed a pleasure to all of us, it is indeed a pleasure to, all of us. to have you join our ranks in lionism. To have you join our ranks in lionism. Please know you can call on any of us for help. Please know you can call on any of us for help. As you make, as you join us in making this a better community. As you join us in making this a better community. Okay, thank you all very, very much. Appreciate that. Now, if I may, Ms. Sponsor, you did a beautiful job of finding us a new member. And there is your, okay. Turn, hold that thing up for a second. Y'all can't really read the wording. But this is a very special sponsorship. This is a sponsorship during our centennial year. Lions are 100 years old, which means the ladies got to vote 97 years ago. But anyway, Lions are 100 years old, and this is your centennial member. And if I may, this is your emblem to wear to let folks know you brought in a new member in the centennial year. Now, if I may, Candy, I'm going to get a big favor out of you. Yes, um, the guy that was up here and, and forgot to bring his notes, so he looked at his phone the whole time and tried to guess when people's birthday was and things like that, and Liz and <laughs> happy birthday, but forgot to tell us that it's uh, Lion Ed that the birthday song was supposed to be sung to. But Ed, congratulations anyway. Um, if, remember those guys used to sit around back in 1917 trying to sell each other stuff? You don't get to do that here. You're here to help other folks. If he catches any of us sitting around saying, 
I'm the best optometrist you've ever seen. You need to come on down to my office. And I'm going to shine a light in your eyes and sell you a new pair of eyeglasses. I mean, if you start that junk, he's coming after you. Uh, but as a new member, one time only, you get the stage and the microphone, and we want to know where you were born, why you're in this area, maybe where you went to school, significant others or family, uh, church affiliations or not, or whatever, just whatever you would like for us to know about you because we want to be able to welcome you and work with you, and we know a little bit about you, it's sure easier to do. So if I may, Candy, the microphone is yours. Um, as he said, my name is Candy, or my real name is Kendra Minnetree. My maiden name was Hubert. Um, my grandpa was big into the community when he was alive, Dick Hubbard, or Hubert, however you want to pronounce it. And so I grew up with him, watching him help out in the community, and he enforced that in all of us, that it was very important to be a big part of the community and, you know, do what you can to help others. So I grew up doing that in high school. I was president of FCCLA for three years, which is Future Career and, Career and Community Leaders of America. And we did a lot of projects around um, on Alaska is where I went to school. I was the first graduating class there in 2006. And then um, I went to school and became a dental assistant. And I've been doing that for almost nine years now. And um, I am now the office manager over at the new office of Trinity Dental. My regional manager introduced that a couple weeks ago. And I have two kids. I have a son that is eight and a little girl that is three. And um, so th that's basically, I've just always wanted to help out in the community. So this is a good part to help me get into there and get started in it. <laughs>